expectations definitely exceed it. It's, it's really hard to tell where because in almost every aspect of this program, uh, from the level of collaboration that I saw within my team to the amount of resources that are available to you, both academic and socially, um, to the amount of learning that you get. Uh, I mean, some of these classes really bombard you with cases and a lot of assignments, and it's up to you to be able to just pull through. So I think the program's rigorous. Um, you know, Howard said, gap is no joke. I really think the entire program is no joke. Um, you know, you definitely have to be dedicated to it. It's just not a light program where you can take online or just come in and, you know, do your minimum amount of work and get out because you definitely notice that you'll suffer. And yet, by the same token, you're not coming to a top tier school to, to try to do that, right? So, um, but I, it's definitely exceeded my expectations and that's probably why it's so diffi difficult to want to leave everything behind. Mm -hmm. Just because of the fact that um, I've learned so much here and I've had such a great time mm -hmm. that um, sometimes just don't want that to end. Yeah. And I mean, and everyone who comes here too, they want to come here. Yeah. You know, I mean, no one put a gun in anybody's head you know, to come to sure. graduate school. Everyone who's here wants to be here. Mm -hmm. So we're here with a lot of like-minded people who want to get out of the program a lot of the same things that we want to get out of it. And so, you know, it makes it easy to, to work with everybody and, you know, kind of kind of move in the same direction, you know, um, in, in a good way, you know, not in a group thing kind of way, but, you know, in a very, you know, collaborative kind of way. Um, I think definitely, you know, you're right, expectations are exceeded on so many different levels. Um, for me, you know, kind of talking about this like-mindedness um, with all our classmates, I didn't appreciate that until, you know, a few months into the program, you know, realizing how much commitment everyone has to learning here. Um, because, you know, we talk about all the fun that we've had and all the things that we've done outside of school, but, you know, when we're here, we're learning. And, you know, there's so many things that we take outside of class that, you know, for me personally, I didn't even realize that I had taken away from, from all the sessions that we've had here. Um, you know, I go up to my old boss and I talk to him about things and, you know, suddenly he's thinking, wow, you know, you sound a little bit different, you know, what's going on here? Said, oh, that's right, you're at Anderson. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, those things come through. Um, and I think it's part of being immersed in this kind of environment where everyone is committed to the learning process, from the students, the faculty, to the administrators. Um, I mean, we're really very well taken care of here. Um, and the administration really goes out of its way to, to make sure that we're taken care That's of. Very true. Yeah. The administration uh, for the Pember program definitely appreciates that the majority of us are working professionals and that uh, they, they'll take care of a lot of the things that as a full-time student, you would you would have to deal with standing in line for your books, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I didn't realize how easy it was, you know, drinks and snacks. You know, when you don't have time to grab food before you come to campus, right. you know, you're just you're just taken care of in in ways that you don't realize when you go into the program. And I think that's one way that it, Anderson exceeded my expectations. Uh, additionally, you know, I, like I said, I went to UCLA undergrad. Uh, I got my accounting minor from the Anderson School. Um, and so I had an expectation uh, about Anderson based off my undergrad experience and just in general, just uh, business economics major in undergrad. Um, and I think after three years here at Anderson, come to realize if you've, if, you're, if you've went to UCLA in the past and you're familiar with Anderson, the graduate aspects of Anderson School are completely different than undergrad. I mean, it's, um, I think as an undergrad, you take a few classes, you have a little interaction with the professors. As a graduate student, the professors are so incredibly accessible, those that teach the FEMBA program. They yeah. understand what FEMBA is about. Yeah. You know, they're here in the evenings. Uh, there are professors that I know students have called at 1, 2 a.m. because they're stuck on a, qu a question or they just you have a question about a lecture. And, you know, their door is always open, you know, very, very accessible. And again, it's just, you know, you're going to get what you, you put into it. And I think, um, at least, I mean, I agree with you guys, just across the board, everything you touched on, um, but in addition you to that. a really good point, because to the professors, you're not just another face. Mm -hmm. They take the time to know who you are, what you do. Um, in fact, like Professor Sussman, mm -hmm. when people were out, um, they would miss his class for, an, uh, whether it was an interview or an event. The next class, he remembers, like, hey, how was your interview? And, like, he would take time out of class, and he actually knew everyone's names. Mm -hmm. And it's just that that level of interaction that makes you feel like, okay, I'm not just another face here that's trying to get a degree or learn, but they, they know you, they understand, like you said, um, the fact that you work, and so they're, you know, it's not so much they're lenient, but they're understanding and flexible. Um, but one thing I noticed that, uh, another thing, in terms of my expectations, is the caliber of people. Honestly, the first quarter I was here, I, I was just like, how did I get in? Yeah, yeah, same I, way. I really, I'm like, how did I squeeze into this program? Because 
everyone else was uh, just, I felt like they were so much higher than me that, um, you know, I, maybe I don't feel that way now because I feel like I have a way to contribute to based on all the different group assignments that we've mm -hmm. had. But I feel that the groups definitely pulled me up. Mm -hmm. It has definitely pulled my, uh, just my level of expectation up and just my level of delivery. But you know what you're capable of now exactly, too. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I think that was one of the great things is you realize that whether it's the group projects or the individual projects, you realize your ultimate deliverable is just, you look back at it and you get it back. And yeah, I think, at least for me, I, I keep a lot of stuff from the previous classes and I've actually referenced a lot of stuff from the previous classes. And you look at you know, the progression of projects that you've done and you realize really what you can do if you're putting the time and energy into sure. it. And so, you know, whether it's going to apply to your, you know, to your employment mm -hmm. or outside of work, it's really um, those skills and just you know, knowing how to get the job done. I think um, everyone likes to think they can get it done, but uh, after this program, you really know what, what you have to do and what you need to focus on and, and, and really just nail it. Right, right. And, and be able to count on other people, too. I mean, yeah. It's like you said, you, know, you were saying your team pulled you up, but I'm sure you pulled up your team, too, you know, in, in some ways. And I felt the same way, you know, and, you know, I was a cocky finance major in undergrad. I thought I could rule the world, you know. But this is a humbling experience. Is, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. Coming here realizing, what, marketing? I don't know anything about marketing. What do I do? You know, and, ha and to have classmates pull me through um, when I can help them out, you know, in the things that I was good at. Um, that was unexpected and, and a very pleasant, unexpected thing. And, and that's part of that network, too. It's just you start to realize that you wouldn't have access to the different people with such a wide array of backgrounds. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, we talk about all the time, you have a marketing question, you go to one person, you have a finance question, you go to someone else. And you know multiple people within a certain industry now, whereas, you know, pre-MBA, you know, your friends set and you meet people and you have your, you know, your employment, you know people within your industry. But, you know, post-MBA, just really that, that Anderson network is there to tap into. And if you have a question about an industry you're not remotely involved with, you can pull it up on the database, ask a friend. Um, people are more than willing to, to have lunch, to do a phone call, to, to answer any question you have. And I mean, I just got an email last night from somebody that's looking to do a career change into oh, wow. marketing in, uh, you know, in sort of the skincare mm -hmm. industry. And they're like, you know, do you have any time? And, you know, I'm more than willing to offer my time. Um, and I know that the times I've had questions, people, it's always an open door policy, right. whether it's students, whether it's friends of students and the professors. You realize the professors here, um, a majority of them all, all work. So not only is this school number one and it's like intellectual capital, I mean there's some great research that goes on here, but in the FEMBA program, the professors I've been involved with, they all are consulting for mm -hmm. Fortune, right. Fortune 50, Fortune 100 companies out there and they have experiences that just will add um, to you know any dialogue you know, that you want to have regarding the specific industry or specific company, and I think those expectations I, I didn't expect that that caliber of people and that type of um, openness of people to really share their experiences right. and, and help and help right. others. So that, yeah, that's yeah, they know a lot of stuff, <laughs> and they're willing to share it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and they're all accessible and always willing to answer questions and. Yeah, it, it's not you know people stuck in an ivory tower somewhere. These are people with real world experience that have done the things that I want to do, and to have that resource here, you're right, is amazing. 